hello good evening hello good evening carlos Good evening, Carla Mendoza, evening. Carla Monica, Carla Ivania, Santos Cristina, Elizabeth, and Mario. Thank you for being on time. Do you have a good vacation? Yes, teacher. Anything interesting? What did you do? Any special food? Oh, I'm sorry, you were sick at home. Uh, Teacher, no? yo sí cumplí lo de las tortas de pescado. Oh, me comí you enjoy them? Oh, I guess. <laughs> Excellent. Great. It was delicious. I, I imagine. <laughs> okay, so happy to hear that you had a good vacation. And sorry for you, Carlos, that you were sick. And I hope that you get well soon. I think it's the it's, uh, weather has been so hot and then it's windy, so that maybe causes a lot of um, um, diseases. No torrejas, no mangos, ni jocotes. Oh my God, that was sad. <laughs> okay, so I ate, yes, I ate torrejas. But that, this is the only thing I like. And also the tortas de pescado, but from Oriente. And uh, yes, I only had chance to eat some um, torrejas from La Tecleña and some of them from La Bambam, but I'd rather let the ones from La Tecleña, they were better. <laughs> okay, so we're back again and you're about to finish your module number six which is excellent, okay? And I saw that, well, you didn't work in the platform, but I hope that you catch up on this days. Well, I already shared the presentation with you and we're going to start sharing here. Uh, let me move this. I guess that you're able to see my screen now. Okay, so welcome to your class number 13. Uh, we're going to be discussing how to use the present progressive. And also um, we're going to make a kind of a review. So as you can see here, we're going to start with a conversation. And this conversation is on page 33 of your material. So I'm going to read the conversation for you. You can practice at home and then um, we're going to practice it together. So let's begin. Good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Good morning, sorry. Hello, Mr. Perez, this is Jackie. I just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie, your company, uh, you're part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I'm afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain you this to you first. Okay, so and then the conversation is supposed to continue, but do you have any questions? No questions? No, teacher, thank you. Okay, thank you for confirming, Carla. And do we have two volunteers to role play this conversation? Yes, teacher. Okay, Cristina, thank you so much. Anybody else with Cristina? Yo solita o, o con compañía. Yo solita. 
you need someone to help you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any volunteer? Yeah, teacher. Okay, Carla. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company, you are part of, of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. Yeah. You're, well, you're welcome. Do you now the procedure, procedure to request training? I'm afraid I don't see you. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Okay, very good job. Thank you so much for helping us reading the conversation. Just a couple of words I heard here. Um, it would be procedures. Procedures. It sounds like it. Procedures. procedures. Okay. Thank you. Request. Request. Same thing. It sounds like it. Request. Good. Now, do we have two more volunteers? I saw that Mario raised hand. Anybody else to practice with Mario? Carla Mendoza, thank you. So let us listen to Mario and Carla Mendoza. Good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez, this is Jacqueline. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jack. Your company, you are part of, of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. You know the procedures to request training? I'm afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this, this to you first. Excellent. Thank you so much for reading the conversation. You did a very nice job. Okay, so uh, about this conversation, we have two questions. We are going to have a couple of minutes to answer the two questions. The first one is, what is Mr. Perez's role in the company? I think it doesn't, they don't mention it in the conversation, but what do you think? Now, number two, what do you think is going to happen next? I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to answer those two questions, and then we're going to share your answers.
Okay, um, volunteer to answer question number one. What do you have? Teacher apprentice. Uh, Mr. Perez. Uh -huh. Okay, sí. Aprendiz. Aprendiz. Mm. Como dice que cuál es el rol de él en la compañía. Yes. Mm. Mm. Okay. Probably he's from human resources. Good. Any other idea? No more idea? He's a trainer. Probably he's a trainer. Uh-huh. Any other idea? Okay, so probably it's from human resources or a trainer. What about the number two? What do you think is going to happen next? Mm, Jackie is going to learn and make a good job. Yeah, probably Jackie is going to learn about her new job. She's going to get the training. And uh, yes. Good. Uh, anybody else? No? Okay, thank you so much for your participation. Um, uh, it says teach you about business process. Yes, probably they are going to teach her about business process. Thank you, Christina. Okay, now, uh, procedures to request training. As you see here, uh, the Mr. Perez asked Jenny, um, if she knows the procedures to request a training, okay? So in this case, the, he's going to explain the procedures and we have the chart here. So um, a volunteer to read the procedure to request training. We have 10 steps, a uh, volunteer to read. The layer teacher. Yes. Ah, okay. Yo puedo participar. Sure, thank you so much. Now, procedures, procedures, or procedures, procedures. Procedures. Uh -huh. to... Procedures. 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 Procedures to request or request. 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 Procedures to request. 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 Re request. Like e Request. <laughs> Okay, procedure to request training, training, eh? uh, no training. Yes, sino training, training. Okay. training. Mm -hmm. Procedure to request training, uh, first, uh, one, first choose the training you are interested on, listed on the bulletin board. Bulletin, si se pronuncia. Yes, bulletin. bulletin. Mm -hmm. Board. Check with the talent man, management consultant or consulting. Is consultant. You, consultant. Is you can take the training. Three, send a notice requesting, requesting your participation. Four, write the name of the training you need. You need. Mm -hmm. Five. Five, specify, 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 specify the day and hours of the price. Perdón. The price. Mm, en El la precio. Factor, yeah, number seven. Or sorry, the yes. date. Yes, number five. Sorry. Yes, specify the date. Five, specify the day and hours of instruction, instruction five, uh, six, mention the place where the event will take place. 
Maze. Seven. Perdón. Play. Is. O play. Uh -huh. Play. Um, seven. Play. Uh -huh. Ok. Seven. Specify the price of the training. Specify. Specify the price of the training. A. Send it to the woman. Así es. Human. 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 A, human. Ok. A. Send it to the human resource department. And I make. Make. Make sure. Make, make sure to include. 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 All the information request. Request. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, ten. Ten. Uh -huh. ten. If information is missing in the note, we will not authorize any training. Types of training, excellent customer service, improving computing, computing skills. Improving computer skills. Improving computer skills. Okay. Mm -hmm. Effective communication. Effective. Effective communication. Learning about writing skills. Organize. Organize. Organizing. Organizing. Time creating. Creating. Website. Others. Creating. Creating. Creating website. Other. Excellent. Thank you so much for participating. Um, thank you. So, uh, based on that, we have an exercise on the platform. So, we're going to check that exercise now that we have this information. And remember that you have to have that completed. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let me share again because yes, we have an exercise on the platform which is related to this reading. Um, now, procedures to request training, you have it here on the screen and it says, is this true or false? It's quite easy. Now, let's see. The first step is to provide your personal information. Is it true or false? Is true or false? Number one, the first step is to provide your personal information. It's true. False. False. Okay, false. The first, it says choose the training you are interested on. Now, number two, you have to notify the talent management consultant about any training you are interested in. Is that true or false? True. Yes, Carlos said true. Also, thank you so much. He's participating via chat since he's not feeling well. Thank you. Um, it's not necessary to specify the eight hours of instruction, the name of the training, in the note for requesting a participation in a training. Is that true or false? Is true or false? It's not necessary to specify date, hours of instruction. Well, uh -huh. That's absolutely false. Thank you so much. Now, number four, human resources doesn't have anything to do with the process of enrolling in a training.
false. Okay, false. Thank you so much. And number five, you have to make sure all the information is clear and complete. True. Seems like it's true. Let's check our answers. All the answers are correct. So we got 20 out of 20. Excellent. So we did a very good job with this reading comprehension. So um, right now I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to check attendance. Remember to say present as soon as you hear your names. Just let me get ready here. Okay. Adel Edenilson Salazar. Abel Edenilson Salazar. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present. Thank you so much. Um, Balmore Alexander Marroquín. Balmore Alexander Marroquín. Carlos Emilio Coto Dueños. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Carlos Humberto, I know that you're listening and yes, you read it in the chat that you're present. Thank you so much. Uh, let's continue with Cecia Noemi Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Hazel Vanessa Mengiva. Okay, Hazel, thank you so much. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Okay, Julissa, you wrote in the chat. Thank you so much, Julissa. Carla Daniela Molina. Present. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carla Lorena Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Melanie Alexandra. Melissa Esther Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Janet Angel. Present teacher. Thank you. Roberto Emilio González. Okay, Roberto, thank you so much. Ya lo vi por ahí en el chat de la meeting. Santos Cristina Cerritos. Present Thank you so much. And Victor Noé Bonilla. Present Thank you, Victor. Okay, thank you, everybody. And let me continue sharing the screen so that we can continue moving here. Okay. I think. Okay, here we have another conversation. And this is on page 35 of your material. And in this, we are going to be talking about activities that we are doing at our workplaces, according to this conversation. Uh, so 
Let me read it for you and then you're going to practice. Good morning, this is Mr. Pedro Rigit. Good morning, Mr. Rigit. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have some more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings and the feedback we have about him from his supervisors is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is required at a managerial position? Okay, do you have any question? Is everything clear on this conversation? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, yes. that's the, the last name. Richard. Pedro. Uh -huh. Yes, es, es el apellido de Pedro. Uh -huh. Pedro es Richard. Pero así se pronuncia, it, Richard. Like E, Richard. Richard, okay. Thanks. Any other question? Okay. If, HR, uh, sorry? HR. 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 Okay. Uh huh. Que es para no decir human resources, which is kind of long and difficult. So it's easier to say HR, like the abbreviation. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Okay, as uh, so we don't have more questions, let's go ahead in the breakout rooms to practice this conversation. Remember that this is on page 35 of your material and also it's on the PowerPoint presentation that I've just shared with you a couple of minutes uh, before the class started. So give me one minute so I can create the breakout rooms. Okay, there you go. Let us uh, practice the conversation. Mm. Pero ahí vamos. Sí, es algo malito la garganta. Sí, es que eso uh -huh. está, es que está de moda estos días. Es el ambiente, sí. el aire. Sí, yo sí, te juego dejando así. Malo. Esta es la vacación. 
Sí, tuvo que tener reposo. Ajá. Aunque sea un poquito, ¿verdad? Porque a veces es bien difícil. Ah, voy a decir que sí. Uh -huh. Lo bueno el trabajo que no ha hablado mucho. Ah, vaya, qué bueno. Ya, ya eso le ayuda. Uh -huh. Ah, mire, Carlos. Carlos, que si puede compartir la, la conversación, dice Carlos. Y si la comparto. Ajá, que si nos la comparte ahí para poderla practicar. Uh, permítame tantito. <ríe> Tengo que bajar power. Ok. No se preocupe, tome de su tiempo. Ya, ya, ya lo voy a compartir. Ok. Ahí está, mire qué rápido. Okay. Uh, oh, lo que veía suavecito. Ah. No, no es mi pantalla. Ah, es la de Carla, quizás. De, Mar, no, de Mario. Ah, ahí está don Mario también. Sí. Ah, o sea que somos cuatro, entonces. Uh -huh. Ah, pues, este. Bueno, ¿quién quiere comenzar? Yo, yo. Yo quiero comenzar. Vaya, comienza usted. Vaya, don Mar. Good morning, this is Mr. Pedro Richard. Good morning, Mr. Richard. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, hi Max. I would to, I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote in as a manager. Mr. Sanchez, any warnings? Um, the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he as what if it is required, required of a manager, um, manager, man, manager, yeah. managerial? Managerial, gracias. Position. Ah, pero como lo tengo que decir en forma de pregunta, lo voy a repetir. I see, do you consider he has what it is required of uh, a managerial position? Position. Position. Quiero ver, sigue todavía. No, ya no, ahí termino. Mm. Si gusta, si gusta, empieza usted ahora, don Mari. Ok. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro G. Good morning, Mr. Richie. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about. Okay. Okay. Para los compañeros. Víctor, si gusta inicia. Bueno, good morning, this is Mr. Pedro, Pedro Rigit. Good morning, Mr. Rigit. This is Max from HR. How I have you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sánchez. Okay, what? kit of information do you need? What kind? What kind? We are checking. We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warning. Warning? Warning. Uh, warning. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. 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 Excellent. I see. Do you consider he has what what is 
is a required 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 at a managerial position. Okay, we can be able. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigid. This is Max from HR. How HR? Can I HR. HR. Mm -hmm. Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some preference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him him from his supervisor. There he was what is required at a managerial position. Okay. Ahora con Marilyn. Okay. Si gusta usted inicia ahora. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Yet. Good morning, Mr. Rigget. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? What kind? What kind? Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to from como hay? promote. Promote. Uh -huh. promote. Uh-huh. Promote. Promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any wearing and fee any feedback. We had about him from his supervisor. He is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is required at, at a managerial position? Managerial position. A managerial position. Uh huh. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Ms. Rigid. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote in as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him and his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is required at a manager position? Mm -hmm. Required. Required. Uh -huh. Required and managerial. I see. Do you consider he has what is required at a managerial position? Excellent. See you in the main text. Right, here we are again. So, continue with the presentation. As you remember here, we said that we are going to discuss about activities that are like ongoing activities, activities at the moment of speaking. So, 
Mm, this is mainly what we use the present continuous for. Do you remember if this tense is used for another purposes? What do you remember about the present continuous? You can talk about the structure. The, mm, use the, verb, the verb is right with ing. Yes, the main verb is uh, takes ing form. Uh huh. That's good. Anything else that you remember? Mm, that we use them with are or is before the main verb. Yes, the verb be um is are must go before the main verb. Uh huh. Excellent. Anything else? Okay, thank you so much for your participation and we will be discussing a little bit more about the present progressive in a couple of minutes. So now um, let's discuss these three questions about the conversation that we already practiced. What do you think are some of Mr. Sanchez's qualities? What is the new role Mr. Sanchez will have at the company? And what do you think is Mr. Sanchez's current role? Okay, I'll give you some minutes for you to answer those three questions and then we're going to share.
have you finished answering the questions? Have you finished answering the questions? Okay, let's see. What do you think are some of Mr. Sanchez's qualities? Any volunteer? What do you think are Ms. some of Mr. Sanchez's qualities? A volunteer to answer that question. What do you think are some of Mr. Sanchez's qualities? Responsible. He is responsible. Okay, thank you so much. I heard Victor is responsible. Mm -hmm. That's it, the only thing that they mentioned, right? That he is responsible, that he doesn't have any warning. But in your personal opinion, besides the information on the conversation, probably he's a good employee. He's on time. He is knowledgeable, capable. Okay. Uh, Melissa says, okay, in the number three, Melissa, it's your personal opinion. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Now, let's move to number two. What is the new role Mr. Sanchez will have in the company? What do you think? What is the new role Mr. Sanchez will have at the company? Any volunteer? What is the new role Mr. Sanchez will have at the company? That information is mentioned on the conversation. So what do you remember? What is the new role Mr. Sanchez will have at the company? 
a manager? Yes. Thank you so much. He says, yeah, he will be a manager or he's going to be a manager. Good. Thank you so much. Now, in number three, what do you think is Mr. Sanchez's current role? What do you think? That one is not, um, that information is not in the conversation. It's your personal opinion. What do you think is Mr. Sanchez's current role? He's a supervisor. Probably, yes, it's a good one. Probably he's a supervisor. It's easy for a supervisor to become a manager, right? So yes, most likely. Thank you so much, Janet, for your participation. Now, as you see here, and we said that we are going to be using the present continuous tense, um, we have a the structure here so that you can make a review of that structure and that's why uh that is the purpose as to why i included this on this slide now it says the present continuous tense is used to describe a continued or an ongoing action of the present that is the main function or the main usage that we um that we have with the present continuous, but it it has also other usages um that we will discuss later. So mm -hmm. the structure, if you are making an affirmative statement, uh, first we need the subject for a sentence for affirmative sentence. After the subject, we will place a form of the verb be. Am, um, is, are, then the main verb plus ing. And after the uh, the main verb with ing, we will have a complement or sound. And we have an example here. So the subject is he. Then as the subject is he, the form of the verb be is, is. Uh, now the main verb play plus ing, right? Playing football. He is playing football. Now to make a negative statement, the only thing that we need to include is the word not uh, after the verb be. And we have this structure here. So first the subject, then a uh, form of the verb be that corresponds to the subject that we're using, and then the word not. Then we have the verb plus ing. For example, he is not playing football. As you see here, the structure, he is the subject. The form of the verb be that corresponds to that subject is, then the word not, then the verb play plus ing. And then of course we have the complement. And now to make it just no questions, it's a little, it's a little bit different. First we place the verb be. Okay, that is for just no question. First we need the verb be, then the subject, then the main verb plus ing, plus the complement, and then the question mark. For example, is he playing football? And you can see here the structure is, that's a verb B. Then the subject is he, main verb, play, plus ing, playing. And then the complement, which is football. And after that, the question mark. Um, do you have any question about this structure? Questions? I guess there are no questions. Now, remember that to uh, to make the ing form, para hacer el ing, no es que solo le ponemos ing antojadizamente al verbo, ¿verdad? Esto tiene algunas reglas de spelling que vamos a repasar y practicar. Uh, the spelling rules. Here we have this chart for you to remember. Most, um, now, the spelling rules, verbs that end in E, for example, uh, make, write, 
if the verb end in the vowel e, we have to drop that e. Tenemos que quitarle la e si los verbos terminan en e. Por ejemplo, write o make se elimina la e y se agrega ing. Ah, oh, Melissa tiene una pregunta. Eh, vamos, ¿cómo responder a las preguntas en presente continuo? That's a good question. Um, hay una, uh, como decir, forma de, de, como les decía anteriormente, como una clave, ¿verdad? La, la pregunta siempre, eh, usualmente se responde. Um, uh, usando siempre el mismo verbo o auxiliar con lo que nos están preguntando. Por ejemplo, are you making dinner? So that is a yes no question. Ahí está una yes no question usando presente continuo. Eh, la pregunta es con el verbo be, ¿verdad? Este es el, el, el verbo o el auxiliar que vamos a utilizar. Es el mismo para la respuesta. Claro que aquí lo vamos a conjugar. Como me están preguntando a mí, alguien me preguntó, ¿estás haciendo cena? Of course, eso no es lo que estoy haciendo yo en el momento. Eso digo, no, no, I am not. So you can use the same verb be. Como ven, va el verbo to be, el verbo to be. Ya como cambia a am porque ya conjugamos con el sujeto, que en este caso es la primera persona. No, I'm not. Y podemos dar información adicional. No, I'm not. I'm teaching. Sorry que se me cambió a cup. No, I'm not. I'm teaching. So that's the way that we answer. So basically is using the same, uh, in this case, auxiliary verb or depending of the structure. Y si es una yes no, esto es en caso de una yes no question, ¿verdad? Son, son como más fácil. Si la respuesta en este caso yo estuviera, de hecho, sí haciendo la cena. So the answer would be, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Ahora, acuérdense que son dos tipos de preguntas, que también están las information questions. So, por ejemplo, what are, are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Okay, what are you doing? So, I am, siempre, siempre vamos a llevar el verbo be, ¿se ve? Okay, porque es lo, lo de la estructura. I am teaching. I am teaching. So it will depend. So, si le respondí más o menos, Melissa, o quiere que hagamos más ejemplos? Okay, you're welcome. So anytime, you can ask any type of questions. All of them are important. So. Let's continue here. Vamos a continuar. Ay, let me stop sharing. Let's share again. All right. Okay. okay. So, uh, continuando con las spelling rules, decíamos a la, cuando los verbos terminan en E, se le quita la E y se pone ING. Y aquí nos recuerda cuáles son las vocales, cuáles son las consonantes, so... Um, we already know that information, but like a reminder. Now, sometimes our words end in a vowel plus a consonant. For example, get, run, swim. So before adding ing to the consonant, um, the consonant at the end is doubled. So, en algunos casos, ve, vamos a duplicar la consonante. ¿Cómo saber cuándo? Vamos a duplicar la, consona, la, la última consonante cuando este verbo o esta palabra eh, tenga al final. Uh, tiene que llevar este patrón como una consonante, una vocal y una consonante. 
Y no solamente eso, sino que tiene que tener estrés. ¿okay? Ya habíamos hablado anteriormente del estrés. En, en, es como la fuerza de voz. ¿okay? Ustedes eh, pronuncian y repiten estos verbos que tenemos acá como ejemplo. Get, run, swim. Get, run, swim. Tiene fuerza, ¿verdad? No es como que digamos work, talk, help, ¿ok? So, it, esos tienen fuerza. Get, run, swim, ¿sí? Entonces, uh, tienen que ser, eh, uh, tienen que tener estrés y tienen que llevar una consonante, vocal, eh, consonante, para poder duplicarle la última consonante antes de agregar ing. Y aquí tienen um, el ejemplo, get, getting. Duplicamos la última consonante que esté. Run, running. Duplicando la última consonante que en este caso es N. Swim. En este caso, M es la última consonante, es la que vamos a duplicar y agregar a ING. Nos dice que no se duplica. Acuérdense cuál es el patrón. Consonante, vocal, consonante. No doble consonante, no doble vocal. Eso es lo que nos dicen las siguientes dos excepciones. No se duplica la letra si la palabra termina en dos consonantes. Por ejemplo, help. Vemos acá, it is, um, tiene dos consonantes, right? Talk, dos consonantes al final. Work, dos consonantes. So, en este caso no vamos a duplicar. Tampoco si son dos vocales antes de la consonante última, right? Look, tiene dos vocales. Read, hay dos vocales. Speak, las dos vocales están por ahí también. Entonces, en estos dos casos no duplicamos. Tampoco si la palabra tiene dos o más sílabas y la última parte no está estresada. El estrés tiene que ir en la última parte si el verbo es de dos o más sílabas. Veamos. Eh, tenemos a uh, visit. Aquí está en grande. The es la primera sílaba. Visit. Visit. Entonces está estresada la primera parte. The first part is stress. So en ese caso no vamos a duplicarlo. El estrés tiene que ir a, a la última sílaba y siempre cumpliendo el patrón de consonante vocal consonante y estar estresado en la última sílaba. Así como ven acá, begin, begin. El verbo begin lleva el estrés en la segunda sílaba. Begin, que es la última. Begin, begin. Y tenemos la consonante vocal consonante. Entonces aquí Sí, podemos duplicar y nos queda beginning. Y la última excepción donde no vamos a duplicar es si este verbo termina en Y o en W. Por ejemplo, buy, el verbo buy. Ok, no vamos a duplicar porque termina en Y. Ok, uh, buy, enjoy. No duplicamos, solo agregamos a ing, enjoy. Snow termina en W, entonces no se duplica, solo se agrega a ing. Do we have any question? Tenemos preguntas. Esto yo sé que ya lo habían visto anteriormente, pero pues eh, estamos haciendo un repaso, ok. Y el repaso es para eh, reforzar, ¿verdad? En caso que hayan dudas, háganlas ahora las preguntas. No tenemos preguntas. Ok, entonces, como no tenemos preguntas, vamos a poner en práctica lo que aquí aprendimos en estas oraciones. Vamos a utilizar este verbo que está en paréntesis y lo vamos a agregar a ing cumpliendo con las reglas que teníamos acá, ¿ok? So, we have 12 statements. Use the verb in parentheses. Write the verb here 
and add ing according to the spelling rules that we just discussed. We're gonna do this in groups. And that information is um, on the presentation that I sent before the class. We're going to work in groups, so let me recreate the breakout rooms. Vaya, se lo pueden compartir. Muchas gracias. Es este. Mm, bye. I am watching, sorry, I heard that. Sí, watching. So. La otra sería stopping, ¿ve? ¿Cuál? La dos, stopping. Con. Con IG, ¿ve? Stopping. P I G. Doble P porque lleva Ajá, T. Ajá. Ajá, pero le digo doble P, o sea, la otra P. Stopping. Stopping. Ajá, correcto, así como le escribió Carla. No me agarro. Stopping. Ok. Aquí está. Con doble P sería, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. con doble P. Aquí está. Es, es. The planning. Planning. Con G al final, vean. Planning. Sí. No sé cómo hacerlo más pequeño. Bueno, lo voy a dejar a un ladito ahorita. O los escribimos. No me sale aquí. En el WhatsApp, si gusta, escriba lo mejor para que así. Ajá, cabal, sale mejor. Ajá, y en el orden que ay. se vaya, ya se sabe cuál va a ser la 1, la 2, la 3. Ah, ay, ahí está, ve. Ya los puso ahí. Ah. Hey, Dean. Ah, sí. Lani, Clachi. Hey. Mm. Talking, vea, sería la 6. Talking. Normal, ahí en Igual, show, show we. Show we. Ahí está. Uh -huh. 
Yo digo que así son. No sé qué dicen los demás. Yo creo que sí, también. Oración, quiero ver. A ver cómo dice la oración. Sería... I am, I am feel, feeling... Feel... Ajá, feeling. ¿Con qué al final? Sí, feeling. Uh -huh. Bueno, la 10 es... The barber is cut my hair. Sería coding. Con doble T, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Doble T. Luego tenemos. Are you eat breakfast now? Sería eating. Con doble T. Uh -huh. Oh, no, quiero ver. No. No, con una T, eating. Uh -huh. Solo se le agrega ING. Um, vaya. Luego tenemos. I think our team is win the game. Ahí sí se agrega otra N, se pone ING. En la de I tengo duda, fíjate, ¿por qué no llevaría la doble T aquí? ¿Cuál es la IRI? En la 11. Que va repasando la, la regla. Es una consonante. Vamos a ver. Ajá, porque it's. Uh... Uh -huh, porque dice que no se dobla la letra final eh, en las consonantes que terminan en P, K, Uh, termina vocal más consonante It, y termina en T en consonante ajá y la regla 2 dice que dice something something a word ends in a vowel más a consonant algunas palabras que terminan en vocal más consonante Y está el ejemplo de get. Este it termina vocal más consonante. En getting. Termina ok. Ajá. La pregunta o la duda es con it, ¿verdad? Ok. Para duplicar las consonantes, recuerden que... Uh, tiene que cumplir con un patrón que es consonante, vocal, consonante. Si um, tiene dos vocales, no se duplica. Y el verbo con el que están discutiendo ahorita es it, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces lleva dos vocales juntas antes de la consonante, entonces... No duplicamos. Si ah. hay dos vocales o dos consonantes, no se duplica. En este caso, los primeros son dos consonantes, termina en dos consonantes. No se duplica. O si y lleva las dos las vocales juntas, como en el caso de it, no. Aparte, otra cosa es que it no lleva estrés, no lleva fuerza de voz. It, it. Así es que no, no vamos a duplicar. 
Ah, ok. Ah, pues, sí. Tiene Sí, será la duda. Only that one? Any sí, other? Sí. Ok. Now let me stop sharing. Y bueno, vamos a irnos a la sección principal. Thank you so much. See you in the main section. Thank you. Okay, I guess that everybody's back again. So how was your review? ¿Cómo estuvo su repaso? Is that easy? Do you have any questions? Tenemos preguntas. Comentarios. No questions or comments. Easy, said Carla. Okay, nice. Okay. Well, let's check then. Uh, in the case of watch, what did you do? It was just adding ing. Okay, so for watch, teníamos nada más que agregar ing, right? Watching. I am watching to be with my family. What about stop? What did you do with this verb? Okay. Double P. Ajá. Uh -huh. Aquí teníamos que duplicar la, la última consonante. What are you stopping the car? Good. Now, what about have? What did you do with have? As having. Having. Teníamos que quitar la E, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, having. Julia is having lunch at the cafeteria. Now, what about plan? Planning is with double N. Planning with double N. Uh-huh. Planning with double M. Good. Ahí teníamos que duplicar. Now, what about pay? Paying. Uh -huh. En este caso solo agregamos ING porque eh, termina en Y. Y dice que cuando el verbo termina en Y o W, no se duplica nada. Solo agregamos ING. Paying. Now, what about talk? Ahí, pues, no hay que hacer, just ing, talking. What about show? ¿Con esto queda show? Solo ing. Ajá, solo ing porque decimos, pero hay una consonante, vocal consonante, es show. Sí, pero termina en W, eso no duplicamos, solo agregamos ing, showing. What about meat? Meat. Solo hay el G. Meat. Okay. Yes, solo hay el G. Hay dos vocales ahí juntas y ahí sí que ya no, no podemos 
duplicar o hacer nada. No, feel. Nada que hacer. ING. Solo ING, porque ajá, termina en a double consonant feel. Now, what about cut? Um, double T. Yes, double T. Porque ajá, double T, porque va estresada y lleva el patrón del um, una vocal, perdón, una consonante, una no. vocal, una consonante y tenemos estrés. So, ahí si duplicamos. What about it? Ese fue debate que estábamos viendo eso. Ok. Solo ING. Solo ING. Porque, bueno, no lleva estrés y hay dos vocales juntas. So, nothing to do, just add ING. Eating. Win. Win. The double N. Yes, porque, ajá, lleva consonante, vocal, consonante. Y estrés, win. So winning. Winning. Double N. Duplicamos la última. So I think that was a piece of cake. Ya vamos a ver el otro ejercicio. Now let me just see what time is it. Okay, we still have time us to continue and then check it. Then nice. Okay. Next thing, uh, ¿qué otro uso recuerdan que tiene el presente continuo? Esto lo vieron en el básico 2. Uh -huh. Ok, sí. Lo vieron en el básico 2 y el presente continuo en el básico 2 lo utilizan para future actions. Uh -huh. El presente continuo también lo han utilizado para acciones a futuro. No solo lo que está pasando en el momento, sino que también eh, para expresar algo que va a suceder. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? ¿Cómo sé que no es algo que está pasando ahorita, sino que algo que va a suceder en el futuro? Cuando estoy usando presente continuo así. Do you remember? ¿Recuerdan? Uy, uh, ya se les olvidó. Díganme si ya se les olvidó o oh, si sí, si sí, acuerdan. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? ¿Cómo voy a saber? Porque si yo digo ahorita, um, mm, I'm mm, cooking. The time expressions. Yes, the time expressions. Excellent, Carla. Cuando están utilizándolo para una acción futura, tienen que usar una time expression que indique que va a ser eh, pues más tarde ese mismo día. Por ejemplo, eh, ahorita, uh, right now I'm teaching. I'm teaching, but after the class, so I said, I'm cooking after the class. Or I'm cooking later tonight. Okay? So, good. Thank you so much, Carla. Now, what is the difference when I'm going to use present simple, present continuous? So, uh, sometimes it is difficult to know, right? Ya a veces me han dicho cómo sé qué tiempo usar. So, now, remember, the present simple, it is used to talk about habits, regular actions or situations, okay? Cuando estamos hablando de acciones regulares o situaciones que suceden pues, del día a día. So, it is simple present. For example, I wash my hair every day. He usually gets up very early. So, it's like routine, so uh, something uh, habitual. Now, facts, permanent situation or states. También para hablar cosas que son eh, hechos, realidades, situaciones permanentes, estados. Um, for example, I have one brother. He lives in Paris. Water boils at 100 degrees. With stated verbs, okay. 
um, give me the money. I need it now. Like need, look, so some verb is static. So in that case, it's like simple present. Future timetable events. También cuando son eh, eventos a futuro, pero que son como, es como algo que cumple una agenda todos los días. En ese caso, eh, the train leaves at four. Pensemos que tal vez estamos uh, diciendo en la, en la mañana, tipo siete, ¿a qué hora se va el tren? ¿A qué hora se va el tren para tal parte? Todos los días el tren sale a las cuatro, entonces... The train leaves at four, as está agendado. It's every day, same thing. So, future timetable event. The exams start next Monday. Okay, ya está calendarizado, so you can say the exams start next Monday. Now, signal words. Eh, palabras clave, palabras que nos dicen es presente simple. Always, never, often, sometimes, every day, once a month, etc. Acuérdense que estas palabras son de frecuencia. Eh, las uh, palabras de los frequency adverbs los usamos para hablar de rutina. Entonces va con lo primero. Habits, regular actions or situations. Now, when I'm going to use the present continuous. Cuando utilizamos el presente continuo. Actions in progress. Lo que ya discutimos. Algo que está sucediendo en este momento. Algo que está sucediendo que está en progreso en este momento. Y tenemos los ejemplos ahí. I can't talk. I'm brushing my teeth. I'm reading a new book. I love it. Eh, temporary actions or situations. Cuando es algo temporal. Está sucediendo en estos días, pero no es algo que, que va a durar como mucho, sino que es algo temporal. Por ejemplo, I'm going to work my bus this week. Digamos, se me arruinó el carro, no va a estar así toda la vida. Tal vez tome una o dos semanas, pero mi situación en este momento, I'm going to work my bus this week. Estaré yendo a trabajar en bus esta semana. Now, I'm living with my cousins until I find an apartment. Estoy viviendo con mis primos hasta que encuentre un apartamento. Estaré viviendo con ellos. So, yes, temporary situations. Esto va a cambiar, no es, es un estado temporal. Um, changing or developing situations. Algo que cambia o que esté en desarrollo. Present continuous. The climate is changing very quickly. Your English is improving. Algo que está eh, desarrollándose, algo que está cambiando. Okay? Tu inglés está mejorando. So you know this is, this is with time, right? Now, future actions that are decided. Lo que decíamos para futuro. Esto es un futuro cercano, algo que ya tenemos decidido. And me, Jan, this evening. Okay? Me voy a reunir con John esta tarde. So, the time expressions is important. This evening. We are leaving tomorrow. That is a time expression. We are leaving tomorrow at 7 a.m. As in plan, futuro cercano, ya está agendado. Um, y ahí tenemos la sign up word, tomorrow. Now, algo otros ejemplos de sign up words para decir es algo que va a suceder. Pronto no es algo que está sucediendo ahorita, es now, at the moment, these days, this week, this month, etc. Questions so far? Hay preguntas? No hay preguntas? Ok. Antes que vayamos al siguiente ejercicio. Ok, Carla, gracias por confirmar que todo está claro. So, antes del siguiente ejercicio vamos a chequear asistencia para pues, poder irnos al siguiente ejercicio um, en el cual pues, van a ver cuándo ser, cuál van a encontrar unos errores por ahí. Um, so, let's check. 
A ver, ¿le de Nelson? A ver, ¿le de Nelson Salazar? Abigail Elizabeth Flores. It's like, hmm. Balmore Alexander Marroquín. Carlos Emilio Coto. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecia Noemí Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Francisco Ernesto. Okay. Excel Vanessa. I'm here. Thank you, Hazel. Yulisa Yamine. Carla Daniela. Present. Thank you. Carla Ivania. Carla Ivania. Carla Lorena. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. María Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra. Present teacher. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you, Carla Ivania. Ya vi que escribió ahí en el chat. Melissa Esther. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirra Yanet. Present teacher. Thank you. Roberto Emilio. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. Víctor Noé. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, ahora la sección uno a uno. Sería para Marilyn Alejandra, si se pudiera quedar unos minutitos um, después de clase, estaría bien. Ok, uh, vamos a continuar. Ok, let me share the screen again so I can explain you the next exercise okay now that we have review um when do we use the present simple and when can we use the present continuous we have this exercise it says correct the grammar and mistakes below the first one is done for you there are 12 more so you need to find the 12 mistakes we have one already done so you see here Today is Saturday and my family and I relaxing at home. Le faltaba la forma del verb be as it is part of the structure. We are, my family and I are relaxing at home. So you need to find the mistakes and remember that you can modify here and do something similar to this. Okay. Uh, is there any question? No. No questions. No. Okay. So I'll stop sharing and let's um let's work in the breakout rooms to find the 12 mistakes.
Hola. Hello. Hello. Lo tienen ahí para compartirlo. Oh. Yo no, no puedo compartir ahorita. Thank you. Thank you, Mario. Mm -hmm. Do not. Bye. Listen, my father father usually washes his car on weekdays. Washing the car now. Ahí falta list. He is not washing. Ah, ¿dónde? Aquí, uh, donde dice Pat, he, he not, dice ahí nada más. Le falta, creo, el is. Sí, esa le falta, ajá. But he's not washing the car now. But. He is not wash. En la otra, creo que es. Quedó después, va. Pero póngansela antes. But he is not washing the car now. En algún apunte o algo. Es que eso cuesta estarle poniendo. Y va a ver. Ajá. Ahí de. Sí, ahí va. En la siguiente dice: Now he's reading. Ahí es con read, es con ing, ¿verdad? Ajá, reading. Ah. Is reading. My mother usually bakes cookies on weekends. Lo mismo, ¿verdad? Ajá, ahí sería, but she is not baking now. ¿Verdad? En, en, sí. la, en la primera línea, nada. Yo creo que ahí donde dice My mother usually bakes cookie on weekdays Ahí creo que no hay ningún error Luego dice But she is Ajá, sería como isn't O is not Ajá, baking now 
but he isn't baking now. Now she watching. Y ahí sería is también. Sí. She is watching a cooking show now. Show on TV. Uh -huh. Le falta el is también. Mm. Y si vemos que el que eh, aquí los dos verbos ahí está bien, she is watching. My older sister usually does her homework on weekdays, but she isn't doing, sería ahí. Her homework now. Aquí. Aquí. Ajá. El ING le falta doing. Y ahí sería, luego, now she is painting. Uh -huh. Y some pictures. Sí. Le falta el is y de sería ahí. Es lo que estaba explicando que era, bueno, ahí solo es con una T, ¿verdad? Y el, y el sí. ING. Porque son dos consonantes. Ah, ok. Con is. Painting. Ahí lo puede poner de una vez. Pero algo que les quiero, y aquí en este watching a, a cooking, los dos con ING. Es que es el, el show de TV. Un show de cocina. Um, creo que sí es así. Cooking show. Sí, es correcto, porque ahí cooking show eh, el, no es verbo cooking, sino que ahí está como nombre. ¿Qué tipo de show? De cocina, un show de cocina. Entonces ahí no está como verbo, digamos. So, es yes, it's, it's, it's ok, ahí está bien. Mm -hmm. Bueno. My little brother usually helps my father watch the car. Lo mismo, verdad? But he is, me falta el is, not helping. Yo creo que el help, bueno, no, no estoy segura. Ahí aplicaría lo que decía que do, va doble P. ¿Mm? 
pero es que está hablando, creo, de eh, como hábitos. My little brother usually helps como un simple present. En esa decía. No, no, ahí donde dice este. Eh, o después, no. Ah, después, my father washed the car, but he is not helping. Ahí creo que lleva a doble P. Pero después de, he's not help, helping my father now. Es que yo verbo? había una regla que, que dos consonantes no se le no se le pone. Tiene, tiene que ser entonces dos este, vocales o cómo. No. no, ni dos vocales ni dos consonantes. Tiene que ser consonante, vocal, consonante y que uh -huh. tenga estrés. Ok, está bien. Excelente. Now he, he ahí sí sería que, que lo cambiara el verbo porque está como en simple present. Ahí sería now he is playing with his toys. Ajá. Y el is al principio. Mm -hmm. Bye. Usually, en mí, dice, usually I clean the yard, but I am not clean. Am. Creo que ahí sería. Mm, no estoy segura. El am le falta. I am not. Clean. Ajá. Aquí. Bueno, ya me lo... Sí, así sería. Pero en la anterior también, después de usually, usually. I am clean. Clean. Oh, oh, no. Es que hay una donde lo dice en simple present. Cuando eh, oh. usually o oh, otra de frecuencia. Y la siguiente oración, cuando dice now. Con ah, sí, sí, es Entonces dice, but caso, I am not cleaning. El caso es que sea cleaning. Uh O oh, con doble N. No. Una. Now I tell you about my family, how about you, what you doing now? Yeah, what 
Estádio do N. Aham. Uhum. Então, você quer cambiar? Ar. En la pregunta, what are you doing now? What are? Uh -huh. Me voy a tomar captura. <laughs> Vale, yo creo que esa sería más. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Well, let's see. Uh, how was the exercise? Was it easy or difficult? Hmm. I see that, well, I was in a group. Me quedé en un grupo en el cual pues los felicito. Porque pues estuve viendo que se estuvieron ayudando, no era solo como por poner las respuestas, porque yo sé, yo te las dicto y lo pones ahí, sino que preguntaban y ahí no sería tal. No, porque hay dos consonantes, terminando vocales, etc. So you were reviewing, that's the idea. Estuvieron haciendo eh, retroalimentación, eh, so that's... Uh, de eso se trata la práctica, ¿verdad? Y de, del trabajo en grupo para que pues... Eh, se ayuden y eh, den soporte cuando se necesite, ¿verdad? So, uh, no sé si alguien quisiera o pudiera compartir lo que hicieron. Tomaron screenshot, encontraron los 11 errores que faltaban. ¿No? ¿Nobody? Okay, so no comments. No hicieron o si lo hicieron, no guardaron capturas. Any comments? No pude guardar captura, teacher. Oh, you couldn't. Oh, okay. But did you find the 11 mistakes? ¿Encontraron los 11 errores? Sí. I guess you did. Creo que estuve ahí, ¿verdad? So, yes, uh, so congratulations. Los felicito. Um, hicieron un muy buen trabajo. Eh, pues eh, si no tomaron captura, pero pues eh, vi que estuvieron trabajando, so, hicieron un muy buen trabajo, excelente con el grupo donde estuvo Don Mario, que estuvieron haciendo su retroalimentación, hicieron su práctica, so that's good, that's enough for today, um, I know that you're tired, sé que están cansados ya, So, recuerden, ya solo nos faltan, eh, quiero ver, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete clases. And I think, and we are done. You will be finishing your module. So, uh, we'll let you rest. Remember to work in the platform. Acuérdense trabajar en la plataforma, porque todavía hay unos que están como un poquito atrás. So, remember to complete sección uno, dos, tres. El meter también ya tiene que estar hecho. And, uh, well, uh, see you tomorrow. See you. See you. Well. See you. Bye. 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 See Bye. you. Good night. Bye. Live well.